31st out here and it's cold. Tents even are a little icy. Gonna get up and uh, have some coffee and then start hiking. Well, it's the start of day six and we've got a lot of hiking ahead of us today. We've got a beautiful sunrise coming up. It's gonna be a great day. It's nice and chilly this morning. We're gonna start climbing up Anderson Pass. It's start of day six and we are climbing. Climbing, climbing, that's all we're gonna be doing for the first half of the day. You can see it's quite rocky. We're around 11,100 feet right now, and we're making our way up to Anderson Pass, the highest point on the trail, and then from there we're gonna shoot up off trail to the summit of Kings Peak, the highest summit in the state of Utah. Like you saw earlier, it was chilly this morning. Woke up with frost on everything. It's uh, July 31st, I think. So it's pretty wild, but yeah, we're up high, so kind of be kind of expected. But one of my favorite things about backpacking in areas like this where there's nobody is just how quiet it is. Only thing you hear out here are the sound of streams, birds, maybe some elk. We're kind of going down. We might be able to see Kings Peak here, but it might be behind this ridge. Yeah, I think we're still kind of getting blocked. I think it might be that mountain right behind there, but it's hard to tell. Let's keep going. Look at these mountains, look at this valley. It's just incredible, man. I mean, you got just incredible vistas this entire hike, except for maybe the first like 20 or 30 miles, the section that a lot of people skip. Um, still though, it was a beautiful section. I would definitely encourage anyone coming out here to hike this trail to do it. Just make sure you have a GPS file because you're gonna get off trail a few times and uh, that GPS file is definitely necessary. But as long as you've got the GPS file and put it on like an app like Trails app or something like that, you'll be good to go. Well, it looks like we're about to pop out of the woods here to a little meadow. I love it when this trail does it, does that. Oh, well, actually we turned right. I thought we were gonna go straight down into there. So we might walk along this meadow for a little bit. But yeah, it's so cool on this hike. Uh, we've done so much of the forest hiking and then you pop out to these meadows where you can really take in the surrounding mountains. And uh, it's, it's just breathtaking. We had six and a half miles of hiking just to get to the pass. As soon as I see it, I'm gonna whip this camera out and show you guys. Well, we're walking towards Anderson Pass. We think it's right there, and we're pretty certain that mountain right there, the big one to the right, is, is King's Peak. What are you thinking, Steve? I'm thinking that's the best hike I've ever been on. Yeah. <laughs> I feel the best, no pain, very challenged. Where does this rank compared to Iceland? Well, I was in a lot of pain on Iceland. Yeah. I had a bad injury I was hiking with. Um, but hike-wise, it's, I'd say it's a little bit better than yeah. Iceland, but yeah. it's, it's hard to compare. It's different, compare. right? It's yeah. different. It's just every turn is a different beautiful view yeah you're right about that man let's see we're at 11,130 feet look at that view well we're heading right at the pass now you can see it right in front of us we can actually see the top of the pass Looks like we're gonna hit this one plateau. And I think the pass is kinda of tucked behind King's Peak there. We're at uh, about 11,300 feet. Doesn't get any better than this. 
guarantee I won't be filtering this. I mean, I don't filter anything anyways, but I'm definitely not gonna filter this. Well, the elevation seems to be getting to some of us here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's climb that mountain. Look at her, she's loving this. <laughs> That's so awesome. She reminds me of my dog. My dog would die at this elevation though. Yeah, we have a little bag that we put her in for like the talus and stuff. That is so cool. Does she chase after chipmunks and stuff? Uh, she's been pretty good on this trip. Yeah. But usually, uh, she's, yeah, but no, she's stayed, stayed pretty focused. It's starting to get a little bit steeper. Finally hitting some switchbacks. We're at uh, about 11,900 feet, so we're almost at 12,000. And there's King's Peak. It's looking a lot closer now. Here, yeah, it is. Well, we made it to 12,000 feet again, but this time, oh, it switched back. This time, we've still got 1,500 feet to get to the summit of King's Peak. So our climbing's not done yet. Just made it up to the second plateau, so it's kind of like a, a second fall summit. You can hear that water down there. So, we got one more rise, and I would imagine that's the Anderson Pass right there. We're getting close though. Little butterflies flying around. All kinds of flowers that you really only see when you get up here uh, to these passes. Look at that. Look at the bee. Look at these little cotton balls up here. Never seen anything like oh, this. Oh, little bird. Man, so cool. The mountain wants to eat I'll your pole. The mountain yeah. wants to eat your pole, Steve. It does. Almost there, almost there, baby. The highest I've ever been in my life right now. Heck yeah. Well, we're getting close to the top of the pass right now. We shoot to the top. But look behind us. Unreal, unreal. We're at about 12,500 feet right now highest we've been. Well, here we are. Anderson Pass. That's a view. That's like one of the best views I've ever had. Right here. And we're going up there. It smells like a skunk up here. Same thing. Someone's smoking a doobie up here yeah. <laughs> well we're gonna be going up there well we're starting to climb to the top of King's Peak baby we're packless so this is gonna be a whole lot easier we're just rock hopping now for a half a mile Definitely want to make sure you got good footing. That's for sure. Looks like there's a little trail down there, maybe. We're back on a little trail. Man, it's going up. It's going up. Let's see if I can 
film. Fear heights, you might not want to uh, climb up King's Peak. It's a little sketchy. Just a little sketchy. Yeah. There's no trail? No. Uh, a little bit of a drop off. Teeter totter. I did that. Did you get the thirteen thousand yet? Not yet. We got a ways to go. We just made it to 13,000 feet in elevation. Only been up this high a few times in my life and it was all on the Pacific Crest Trail. Getting closer. Question is, is this the summit or is it a false summit? We're gonna find out together. Summit! Oh my god. Why does that mountain look taller? It's so funny. That mountain looks taller than the tallest mountain. It's pretty wild. Actually, that mountain looks taller. That's weird. King's Peak. What do you think, Steve-O? Oh yeah. Let it out. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! I'm Look at this King's view. Peak. Awesome. We're the Redbeard. King's Peak, baby. That's what it's all about. Get out here and do this. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Steve. Hold that sign, baby. Look, you know what that is? That's ready for video. That's where Look at that. Right, baby. <sighs> Woo! Yeah! Woo! That's it, baby. How was that, Matt? Where's that rank? That was the biggest I butt kicker ever. <laughs> video of something. Video. Oh my god, Steve. Or, so or, or, or pictures. Man. Man. What a climb. What a climb. There's the valley that we walked through earlier today. Looks like two and then like a shoot and then the third one. Okay. We still got about maybe four miles or so. It's been a great time on top of uh, King's Peak. We're gonna start climbing down. Memory card six. So we got a we got a pretty good little bit of hiking ahead of us. We're heading to the lakes way out there in the distance, so it's about four and a half, five miles. We're gonna be following this on along the ridge for a long ways before it switches back. Okay, let's look back at King's Peak where we just came from. You can see the trail way down there. We're about to be switching back. Look at that. The pass is right there. I'm absolutely beat. I'll tell you, I'm drained. That, uh, climbing up that pass, 
uh, the six miles, six and a half miles or so we did just to get up to the top of the pass. But then the climb up to the top of that mountain, definitely the most draining climb I've ever done. I am worn out, I'm definitely worn out. I just made it down here to the first plateau on the descent. You can see, my gosh, what a downhill that was. I am beat. My legs are pretty much uh, like jello right now. Uh, I'm out of water, been out of water. My lips are really dry. It's hot and dry out here, especially on the back side of this mountain. Dust is kicking up as we hike. There's some water dripping up those rocks coming down there. So I tried to run down this thing as fast as I could just to come over here and see if I could score some water. I just came from way back there. I don't even see the guys. I left them behind because I'm just so thirsty. I couldn't wait any longer. Look at this, the water. I was just walking, I didn't see anything. All of a sudden I thought I heard a spring or a stream or something. Look at that. So perfect, so perfect. Oh my gosh, I couldn't be any happier. I couldn't be any happier. Coming right out of the ground. Doesn't get any better than this. Man, yeah, I'm gonna fill up here oh, and enjoy it and enjoy it. We're leaving Keeg's Peak behind, at least the valley. Hard to believe, man, it, it just doesn't look as big as it is. But we are heading this way. We're going over there. That's another pass that we're gonna actually go over tomorrow, but we're gonna camp pretty much right at it. There's some ponds there. So we're gonna go down and then climb up to it. Crossing the valley now. It's definitely not as flat as it looked from the tops of the mountain, but I think we hit the low point back there. It was a stream. So now we're gonna start making our way up. We're about to be walking up on a ton of sheep. There's like hundreds of sheep up, sheep up here. There's a line of them right there. There's a dark one leading all of them. And then there's a bunch there. There's a bunch there and there's a ton over there. Look at this mountain ridge. How beautiful it looks. The sun is just lighting it up. And right there, the V, that's Anderson Pass. So hard to believe we were on top of that mountain right there just a few hours ago. We've come a long way. We will have only done about maybe 14 miles or so, but climbing up to King's Peak, we had a 3,500 foot climb from our camp spot to the top of King's Peak, and then we went straight down. Now we've been climbing, we're back up to 11,475 feet. We're gonna be camping around 11,600, 11,700 feet, so I think this is gonna be our highest camp spot so far on the trail. Starting to look a little dark. These are the first clouds we've seen in a couple days. We're really high up, so hopefully, hopefully we don't have any storms tonight. Well, here we are. Look at this lake. Pretty cool. Now just to find a good spot to pitch the tents. We're gonna head for those trees right in front of me. See if there's a good spot somewhere around there. Well, we're here. We've got our tents set up. Man, what a day. We've got a pretty spectacular view. That's for sure. Look at it all around us. How you feeling right now, Matt? Toughest day in a long time. Yeah. That heat, just the sun beating down on you. Climbing 13,500 feet. Yeah. Yeah, okay, it was yeah. a tough day. But you know what? We did it. We did it, we did it. I think uh, everyone looks a little beat today. Yeah, yeah tough so, day. tough day. Well, we're gonna enjoy this camp spot. What a day today. The trail did not disappoint, that's for sure. Absolutely incredible, I'm so worn out. I'll probably fall asleep in the second my head hits the pillow. <laughs>